Hey crypto enthusiasts, today we are diving into airdrops free distributions of tokens that can make you a cryptocurrency holder at no cost. Sounds magical, right? If you've ever dreamed of getting free crypto or want to know how it works, this episode is for you. So what exactly is an airdrop? An airdrop is a process of distributing tokens or cryptocurrencies for free to users. Companies and projects use airdrops to attract attention to their products, increase their user base and stimulate activity in their ecosystems. Airdrops have been around since the early days of the cryptocurrency market. Initially, they were conducted to spread information about new cryptocurrencies and to test them. Early projects handed out their tokens to virtually anyone interested to attract attention and create a community of users. But since then, airdrops have significantly evolved. But now airdrops are a completely different story. It is now a way of winning people over. Usually nowadays, projects are launched on the market, asking their users, future users, to do some actions, for example, to register in their app or to trade on their exchange or to do some other actions. And in return for their activity, depending on the size of this activity, for example, on the number of friends and on the number of actions inside the application, the companies distribute these tokens to their holders. So the holders actually perform the actions without doing the hard work, although sometimes it's a bit complicated because you have to do different transactions, buy NFTs in many cases. All the platforms come up with completely different tasks. So for these tasks, companies essentially give away cryptocurrency for free. There is actually indeed no need to hold any cryptocurrency, so to speak, in advance to do this. And that's what's basically called airdrop mechanics. Thank you, Realme. And I want to add that airdrops have become a crucial part of marketing strategies for many blockchain projects. They not only attract new users, but also motivate existing ones to stay active. Airdrops help build and strengthen communities around projects, increase brand awareness and drive discussions on social media. Ultimately, they allow projects to quickly grow their user base and create a loyal community that supports them long term. And what about retro drops? Retro drops, as you can clearly tell by the name, give coins to those who have done some kind of activity in the past. But there are so-called snapshots or taking pictures of the state of the network. For example, some project might say, guys, if you made transactions on the Ethereum network from June to August of some year, we'll give you all kinds of coins. And so those people who were active in Ethereum can get those coins. It's basically the same thing, just with a small difference. Already due to the origin and carrying out certain actions, users receive coins, but nevertheless, the essence remains the same. Airdrops and retro drops are rewarding users for certain actions, either actions that you need to do now and get this airdrop or actions that you have done in the past. Okay, so uh, participating in airdrops may seem complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Companies usually provide instructions on their websites or social media. All you need to do is follow these instructions. This might include registering on the platform, completing small tasks like social media reposts, participating in surveys or testing new features. Sometimes just having a crypto wallet and subscribing to project updates is enough to participate in an airdrop. In fact, airdrops and retro drops are a great way for beginners to learn about cryptocurrencies. Because when you engage in certain kinds of activities and assignments that you are asked to do to get that airdrop or retro drop, you learn essentially a lot about the network and thus educate yourself. That's why there are a lot of students, a lot of young people who run to airdrop, retro drop, search, farm airdrops in all sorts of projects. As a rule, they have dozens, scores or even hundreds of various different projects they are working on. It's very important not to make mistakes because that can exclude you from the airdrop distribution pool. Of course, the conversion rate from those who receive airdrops to substantial project users who will then use the project after they have received their money is quite small. But nevertheless, economically, for a large number of projects, it works. Now, there's also a new mechanic that we're using at Bloom in particular. It's a point system where you users are rewarded with certain points. And at the end of the day, users can claim some sort of reward. It could be NFTs, it could be project tokens, it could be some other prizes, gifts, tangible or intangible. In general, the system of rewarding users for their actions is evolving and developing. And of course, if there is something new, we will definitely tell you about it on this channel. 
So airdrops are not just a way to get free tokens, they're an excellent method for learning about new technologies, projects and networks in the crypto world. Through airdrops, you can not only fill your wallet, but also significantly expand your knowledge. So if you haven't participated in airdrops yet, it's the perfect time to start. Subscribe to our channel to not miss new videos and useful tips about cryptocurrencies. See you next time.